Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, I have an incredible revelation bombshell investigation video for you today and for the first time I'd kindly ask you to like the video and if you can share it so it gets the views it deserves as many people will want to see this, including some people in Geneva. Indeed, I have video and audio proof of the collusion between Hong Kong Rolex authorized dealers and secondhand dealers. I had always suspected it and long before we entered this virus lockdown period, which is catastrophic for the luxury business. One large retailer with many branches here is Chou Tai Fook, CTF, which has major floor space all around town, mostly selling gold jewelry with some space reserved for Rolex and Tudor. And they have some addresses selling just watches as well. I have purchased my Explorer from one of those. The other main presence here is Dixon's Watches, where I got my Milgaus and my Black Bay 58. Now go to those shops any given day, including now during the worst crisis we've known in our lifetime, and they will invariably tell you that they never get in-demand steel sports watches. Some even profess that they only get one or two GMT Pepsi a year, and we're talking major billion dollar retail business in the center of Hong Kong. Now, on Monday, it was Easter, but I was out and the shops were open. At 6 p.m., as the sun was setting, I walked in front of the CTF branch on Queens Road Central and saw customers inside. It was so unusual that I had a better look. They were three middle-aged, local-looking people, clearly not tourists sitting at three of the Rolex booths with credit cards on the table and stacks of Rolex white boxes with the plastic wrap still around them. Alarm bells rang in my head, as you can imagine. And what would you know happened two days later? A second-hand dealer from Causeway Bay, the top shopping era in Hong Kong, posted dozens of brand new models on Carousel, the second-hand trading app which I told you about before. Instead of posting the actual watches, they were showing generic pictures and clearly indicating that the watches were 100% new, unmolested. And don't ask me if it's bogus, it's the real thing. It's a proper dealer with established reputation that has been there for a long time and sold many secondhand pieces. It's not even the only carousel seller I've seen lately doing this, but it's the only one that posted all the watches in one go. The other is called Central Girl, who clearly takes stocks straight from the AD to the secondhand market. I even suspect that it is the salesperson who sold me my Black Bay as she sent me a WhatsApp message for a Daytona using the exact same generic picture format as used in Carousel. So this Thursday, I decided to conduct my forensic investigation on the ground. And boy, do I have the scoop for you. It was exactly what I thought it would be. It was there in Causeway Bay in a gallery at the corner of Percival Street and Hennessy Road. They were there, all the brand new watches lined up in their window in their original untouched shipping plastic boxes. I turned on my microphone and started chatting with the salesperson who was hanging out at the entrance of the shop. I thought he'd try to pretend that individuals sold those watches to the shop, but no, he went with what I was suggesting and confirmed it in even more details that I would have hoped for. The reason I mention Cho Tai Fook and Dixon's is because those are the places where he made the deal for those watches. So before I play this conversation, I want to stress a few things. Times are tough and these guys take the risk off from the 80s by taking on the hot models in exchange of also taking on several hard to sell pieces like gold Daytonas. Their aim is to, com is to come out on top. They might have the cash to weather out the crisis and wait for mainland Chinese customers to come back to buy the yellow gold stocks. But as I said before, this is 100% against all supposed rules that we were told Rolex 80s had to abide by. And on top of it, it proves the, that the connection has always been there and crisis or not, 80s always sold directly to secondhand dealers. 80s might here and there do a favor to a good customer, but for the rest, you're just an idiot for even going there asking for a Pepsi or a Daytona. 
They hold them as bargaining chips, basically. We'll come back another day on the topic of premiums, on a global scale even. Don't you think they are all the result of a collusion between online dealers like David SW, David SW, David SW, watch finders and the Hong Kong dealers? The first who gets his hands on a bad girl sets the price. I remember David SW coming right out the gate at $23,000 Also, Based on what? Availability? Really? For a brand that mass produces watches? It's a total scam. But anyway, let's listen to the conversation now. There were two shops in that little gallery, but they are connected. So the watches put on carousel by 28 watches, which is the actual name of one of the shops, are actually on display in the shop right next door called Galaxy Mile Watch. So Rolex, if you really care, you know where to find them and you know where to find me. If, as a thank you, you would let me kindly purchase a GMT Master 2 Pepsi because I love the brand and this aggravation reflects badly on the brand. Excuse me. Yes. Are these all brand new watches? All brand new. Wow, how did you get all them all like this? You bought them from a Chow Tai Fook or something? Yeah, we have. We have a Chow Tai Fook stock and a Texan watches stock. Oh, wow, but even the brand new stuff that uh, they said they don't have. We have. Oh, okay. Uh, if if you walk walk in, go to Chong Tai Fu, go to Dixon, go to go to uh, other uh, uh, Dong Fong, also no stock for you. But yeah. Are, but if you buy all the the gold stuff, we, we can then uh, then yeah. you take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's how I thought it was working. Those are your your best prices, or are these negotiable? Uh, which one? Well, pretty much all. Like say. Um, Let's say the Sky Dwellers, which ones do you, do you have? You have only the blue? Do you have a, say a black Sky Dweller? What is the price right now? Sky Dweller? Yeah. The black, black one or blue one? The black one. Black one. This price, for cash price. Oh, okay. And credit card uh, at more than uh, 2%. Okay. Uh, so on Carousel, you also have uh, the old Batman, uh, the black uh, bezel one. Uh, uh, GMT Master Black 2. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Osta, Osta Bracelet. Yeah, yeah. Th that's also brand new? No brand new. It's like no, new old no, stock? No, stock. Oh. This, this continue. Yeah. This continue when we do have. We just brand new, uh, new stock. We don't have second hand and uh, this continue stock. Okay. So you discount straight away the, the Daytonas? You, you can discount straight away the, the Daytona. So you're going to lose on these ones. Uh, you're going to lose money compared to what you pay or you, you, you get the, a better price? Better price can, can more, more li little bit, little bit less, less discount, little bit. But, but you need to uh, confirm which one you want. Uh, yeah, but when you pay price. from the, say, say Dixons, you, do you have to pay that, uh, that the high price or? You, yeah, you get a bit, price, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you lose on these ones, yeah. but you're gonna make money on the other ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, same. so you need some tourists to come buy the <laughs> some Chinese tourists to buy the gold ones. Yeah, we need we need uh, buy more other 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 yeah. stocks. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe buy the uh, two door, uh, buy the all gold, all yeah. gold Rolex. They just they they. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to sell. Yeah. You got some day just inside as well. If you just buy buy this one, just buy the gold Daytona. Uh, uh, hard to buy. Yeah, yeah. Don't give don't give our shop stock. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get the mini gas sixty eight thousand five. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.